Hi my loves, it's me Samantha from CosmeticCandiesFYI.com and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually going to be a foundation review as per the title and it's been a while since I've done an actual product review let alone a foundation review so I'm pretty excited about this particular one. Now you guys know if you follow me on a regular I'm not one to play around with foundation and experiment because if I like something I usually stick to what I know but I was really intrigued by this particular foundation so I knew I had to pick it up. The product that I will be talking to you guys about today is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation Serum. I believe that's what it's called or it's actually the Pure Brightening Serum Foundation. And this foundation retails for $29 for which you're getting the standard 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce of product. You can purchase this at Bare Minerals Online, Ulta, QVC, Sephora where I got mine or wherever Bare Minerals are sold I believe but I'm pretty sure you're gonna have the best luck at Ulta or Sephora. This is formulated without water there's no silicone no parabens in it so it's safe to say that it's not a water-based product which is interesting because the texture well actually the consistency of this definitely is a little on the runny side but I'll talk about that in a little bit but this is a very interesting foundation when you screw the top off oh my goodness when you screw the top off it's like a spout and this is why I hate shaking this thing up because foundation leaks everywhere like everywhere and it's such a waste of product you really do have to shake this up but I try to just kinda tilt it or kinda invert it upside down and then tilt it back up again a few times I don't sh try to shake it too hard so I just give it a, a whirl but if you don't shake it up it will come out looking separated but they actually have 20 something shades I believe I believe it's 20 shades to choose from which is absolutely amazing now initially I matched myself to the shade um, bare buff 10 and that one was a pretty good match I think it would match me better in the winter time I looked again and I actually ended up matching myself to this shade that I have and this is Bare Caramel 14 which is the absolute perfect match it's just a little teensy bit darker than me which is perfect because it can transition into the summer months when I get a little bit more tan. Now I am NC40, NC42 depending in MAC terms. Um, for in Studio Fix Fluid I'm NC40. I can get away with NC42 it's just a little bit on the yellow side but NC40 matches me a lot better. In Studio Sculpt I'm NC42. In Pro Longwear I'm NC42 and in um, face and body I am C5 so if you're any of those shade ranges either bare buff or bare caramel will be a really good match for you. The texture and consistency like I previously said is a very lightweight feel almost liquidy watery look to it and feel to it it reminds me a lot of Max face and body it has a lot more coverage than face and body it's definitely more of a medium to full coverage foundation um, whereas face and body is kind of like a light like super super light coverage and then it also reminds me a little bit of that L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder foundation that I have somewhere I should have picked it out for you guys so you can see but it reminds me of those two a lot except it's just a little little bit thicker so it's not as runny but it still is runny and it has twice as much coverage than the two other foundations. Now there is a brush that was sold complimentary to the foundation. My only concern with the brush is that it's $29 and I just feel like why am I going to pay $29 for a brush that's specifically designed to work with just one product. So I opted out on the brush and I really don't feel like I'm losing out on coverage or performance for this foundation by not getting the brush because I think I get the same results I saw in Sephora with the two brushes that I like to use. And right now the two brushes that I really like to use are the Sephora number 55 Pro Airbrush brush 
as well as the e.l.f. stipple brush, the small one. For those of you who are on more of a budget, you can definitely pick that up. I've worn this foundation with setting powder and without setting powder. When I wore it without setting powder, it worked perfectly fine. I don't think it lasts as long throughout the day, but it still looked beautiful. With the setting powder, you are going to get a little bit more of a longer wear. But either way, I prefer both methods. It's just what I'm preferring at the time. Without the setting powder, you're going to get more of a glow, more of a healthier look to the skin, more of that dewiness. Each time I've worn this foundation, I've worn it from anywhere between 5 hours to 10 hours. And I think the longest I can go without having to touch up or without oil starting to peek through the foundation is about six to seven hours which is an average wear time overall I really do enjoy this foundation no huge complaints from me it's definitely something that I can see myself wearing every day and I don't feel like I have on a caked on amount of foundation so I really like it that's basically it for my review on the bare minerals bare skin uh, pure brightening serum foundation if you guys have any more questions or comments leave them down below if you have this product and you've tried it out leave a comment below as well let me know what you think and until my next video i will talk to you guys later bye in this video i will be reviewing for you guys the coastal sense revealed palette i literally just got these in the mail so 